While Bluetooth devices said farewell to the IoT middleman, you may have missed the robot bartender that watches and learns, the camera you want for all your weird house chores, and artificial tissue from something you'll never enjoy again. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where the innocent joy of carny food hasn't been the same since I saw that dirty employee barfing behind a tent. Circus folk, nomads you know, smell like cabbage. If you somehow still enjoy cotton candy, you should probably leave now. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. Scientists have whipped up something special on a machine more suited to home kitchens that is less sponge sugar, more replaceable body parts. I mean, you could eat this. Um, you probably wouldn't want to because it's been in the lab, but, but you could. Vanderbilt researchers then combine the almost candy with hydrogel, then dissolve it so that channels left behind can act as capillaries. It also has human cells in it, so theoretically it could actually work in a body. It's a proof of concept so far, but real trials and God knows what else cannot be far behind. Next thing they'll be breeding us like cattle for food. You home repair people will enjoy this. A new Kickstarter project wants you to buy a 4.5 millimeter video camera for the home. You never know when you need to check connections in a car or what's making that weird noise in the sink, I guess. That's not how I'd use it though. Anyway, it comes with three interchangeable camera heads ranging in flexibility and size and costs about $200 depending on when you snap it up. Meanwhile, at least one robotics group at a university is using machine learning right. University of Maryland is training a robot to make drinks by watching a human make them first. It's the robot bartender called Julia, which they say just a few more times than necessary in the YouTube video. Julia, 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 Julia. Thank you. Julia. It's kind of creepy. It works with computer vision and artificial reasoning algorithms and even knows to remove obstacles and pick up fallen soldiers. Guys, when can she move in? I think she needs saving from that narrator anyways. She's also so fragile, so human. You know what I mean? And now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you because the universe is amazing. James Woods is being allowed to sue an anonymous Twitter user he claims slandered him. Google announced it is killing off Flash-based ads. Facebook board member Mark Andreessen pissed off all of India with a pro-colonialism tweet. HBO Now garnered 800,000 subscribers in its first 10 months. Walgreens has given blood testing startup Theranos 30 days to clean up its act. And it turns out ripples in the fabric of space-time known as gravitational waves do exist. Einstein predicted that about a hundred years ago, and we're just getting to actually see it now. That's what's up. This episode was brought to you by Go90.